What is up, riders and anybody else who's new here and want to mod their game because you either beat it too quickly or you just want to mod it for no reason because you just want to have fun, which is all fair game. Anyways, we're going to get right to it. So you're going to open your browser, whichever one you use, Edge, Chrome, or Brave. <laughs> Go into Google and you're going to type in Smith Max Elden Ring. You can either open the GitHub version, second link, or the Nexus version. Obviously, when you download Nexus, it's going to tell you you're going to need all this stuff. It's the same thing like DS Studio. You're going to need all these runtime, netcore, blah, 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 blah. Same thing on GitHub. It's going to tell you the same exact thing. Make sure you have the requirements. If you don't, you're not going to have a good time. And good luck, because I didn't run into any problem whatsoever. So if you do, um, I can try to help you, but good luck. Once you get it done downloading, you're going to see the Smithbox zip file. Zoom in on that. You're going to see the Smithbox zip. And once you get that done downloading and all your net time stuff, all that extra shameful little and make sure you got the requirements, you want to right click it, open a new window just to make it easier. Grab that folder, copy and paste it if you want, control C, and then copy and paste it in wherever you want, wherever you know it's going to be at. So obviously I have it right here, right? It's a big file. It's going to take a second. I'll give you five. No, I'm just kidding. Pause the video. When you go into click, click on it. Smithbox. Scroll all the way down to where you see EXE, right? Smithbox EXE. Now that that's done, I already have been editing some stuff already, as you can tell. We're just going to do it easy. We're going to make a new project real quick, just to give you guys an idea. This is what's going to pop up when you first launch it. Name it whatever you want. Yes. No. First mod. Project directory, you can click on a question mark if you're confused from me explaining it. Good luck. Project mod will be where it's going to be saved. So what uh, what that means, it's going to look something like this. Like, 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 like this. You're going to make a folder where it's going to save it constantly. Wherever you edit stuff and control S or save it, it's going to go in here. With, turn, this, turn it into a regulation bin. So typically you just want it to be in there somewhere you know where it's going to be as usual where you know it's going to be so in this case it's going to be smith Fox tutorial it's going to be in that folder it's a tutorial folder that's where i want it to be so next is the game executable sounds it's pretty straightforward you go into where the exe is click on this you're going to try to find where it is where the actual exe is you're not trying to find you should know where it is and if you have it installed in your windows drive like i do you're just gonna go into your drive your windows drive program files x86 steam steam apps common elden ring and game your exe should be in the game folder you'll see the exe there if it's anything like on your other drives, whatever drive you're on, it'd be Steam Library, Steam Apps, Common, Elden Ring, Game. Right? You following me? And once you find it, you'll see the EXE. Click on it. Import role names if you want. It just applies role names from list stored in assets. It, I don't know if it actually did do it by itself or not. I just, 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 just click it. Just check it. Hit Create. Give it a few seconds. Think we're good? Now that you have that ready to go, you have all the stuff ready. So when you look into your tutorial folder where we saved it, it should look something like this. So I'm no crazy modder expert here. I just modded the basic stuff. For instance, in the buddy param, type in mimic tier, right? I don't know which one you have to do. Well, maybe you duplicate both. Highlight both of them. Control D. It should duplicate it like that. Nice, nice and simple, you know. And then we're gonna go down here to SP Effect. SP Effect Pram. Type in crimson, amber, and you'll see amber medallion. What we're gonna do is in crimson amber. We're going to do trigger interval. And once you change that to 0.6, scroll down to current HP percentage. 
we're gonna put it at negative 0 0.5 next one we're gonna put it at negative 10 then down again current FP percentage negative 1 and the current FP plus also negative 1 that way it's not too busted you know we, we don't want to make it too easy unless you want to go for it but what that's gonna do is it's gonna basically just turn into the blessed do but for both HP and FP if you don't know what the blessed do does that just gives you really really slow regen in your health but this just kind of nicks it up a little bit you know makes it a little better not too broken not too easy but anyways so what we did there of course is we made mimic tier he should spawn there should be three spawn mimic tiers if you don't know what that is um spoilers actually you know what i'm gonna show you guys something else too real quick what i downloaded is unlock spirit ashes this one basically lets you spawn summons anywhere around the map not not everywhere but a good amount of places it essentially takes the range of where you can summon and kind of almost makes it maybe five or ten times bigger i'm just throwing a random number out there don't told me to that it's just a random number but it, in it increases the range of it and lets you resummon over and over again let me ask you if your summon dies you can just summon again i that's how it was before i don't know if it works now but so what we're gonna do here is when you download this file right download this file because it's just blah 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 i don't i'm not signing on this browser once that's downloaded wherever you have it going downloaded to you'll see unlock spirit ashes right open a new window pull the folder out pull the folder out there it's not a zip file make sure it's not a zip file What's that? Once that's out, you see right here, it had Buddy Stone Param and the regulation bin. We just want this. We just want the CSV file. So what you're going to do in here, when you're trying to add it into here in this case, right? It's already installed, but the summon event flag ID is not zero. That's what the mod does. But what you do to even add it in the first place, Let's go to Buddy Stone Param, right? Click the top left, Data, Import CSV, from File, All Fields. And if you see this, it just opens up to wherever you last had, which of course was executable. But go down to where the mod was again, where the CSV file was, not the zip, the CSV file in the folder that you unzipped, which would be this this buddy stone you follow me you saw that we'll do it one more time repeat it again import csv from file all fields go to where you unzip the file the buddy stone param csv click it there you go now everything should be zero and this summon event flag id should all be zero Click Control S or click File in somewhere up here. Hit Save All Modified Paradigms actually, because if you forget the Control S on a one you were just editing, I don't know if it's gonna save when you close it next time when you want to edit again. So just hit, hit, hit this one instead. Now once that's done, you're gonna go back to where you had it saved to Smithbox. I had it set to Tutorial. And in the regulation bin, this one, you're looking for that one. Before you even add in the regulation bin and overwrite the current live one, take this bin file and copy and paste it into a backup folder that you know where it's going to be at in case something goes wrong. Or if you want to go back and play online with your friends or whatever. So copy the current bin in the game file and put that in the backup. Copy that somewhere. Don't don't drag it anywhere. You just copy it. Copy and paste. Control C, Control V, somewhere else. All right, back to it. So now we're back into the modded folder with the regulation bin. The modded regulation bin. You can drag and drop it in. Replace the file of destination, or you can copy and paste it if you have it on the same drive. Make sure you're in offline mode too. Just do it. Don't even try anything online. 
just go offline. Now remember what you edited. We made Mimic Tier spawn three times, right? We increased the range of the spawner, which you can tell obviously by the bottom or well middle left. The symbol right there is already there telling you can summon. And then we changed the Crimson Amber Medallion. And as you can tell, you see my bar? Let me stab myself real quick. It's definitely working because the bar is going back up. Or in this case. See? The FP is also being affected too. And now, we check the summons. Which... Oh. Okay, three spawn. I thought it summoned six good them. <laughs> I was a little concerned for a second. But yeah, so... so yep, three of them spawn. We got three of myself now. And now we know it's working. And that's the... Uh, what are you guys doing? And that is how you mod with Smithbox. Same thing as DS Studio. It looks exactly like it. But this is a Smithbox tutorial. Have fun. Go crazy. Spawn a bunch of people. And if you want to know anything else, I don't know anything else. This is just what I figured out on my own. And what I figured out from previous, you know, previous modding. And yeah, Bear, good luck. Have fun. Don't die. Because you gotta live to ride another day. Deuce. Go, 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 go. Yeah, nothing like having three of your dudes stab himself together. If you stab yourself, would you if your friend stabbed himself, would you do it too? Always. Go get it, go! Woo.